Hi guys, I'm here with you guys with another video today and today I'm going to give you guys a haul and pretty much show you guys everything that I got from Walmart. I got all e.l.f. products except for one because one is just one of the original products that I kind of started off showing you guys that I was using. So if you guys want to see this haul then keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I kind of got that was kind of like random from this whole e.l.f. haul was this clear cell and it's the same clear cell that I've been using for pretty much a long time now that I even showed you guys in my first ever video and it was working really well so you know I just kept it going and a good thing that you know kind of made me feel good was that my brother was even starting to use this so I can kind of feel like somebody's actually starting to listen to me and find out that it's actually working for me so yeah and this product was six dollars and 97 cents and like i said i got all of these products from walmart and just a side note like if you guys are seeing my nails they're finally done and i'm using this elf nail polish i use this elf nail polish right here and this is in the color raspberry sorbet and even on my lips because like i'm actually wearing makeup in this video too i'm wearing like pink lipstick and then on top of it I used this elf gloss right here and this is in the color Make-A-Wish so and there was actually some of these at Walmart there wasn't any nail polish but there was some of these at Walmart too so it was just kind of awkward because when I go in Walmart usually I don't really see elf when I go in um, Walmart so it was kind of weird to see that it was in there and I was it was kind of like you know rejuvenating because I didn't have to get you know buy a lot of products for expensive prices and stuff and you know elf is a really cheap brand but it's very quality so I'll ex I'll you know tell you guys the prices when I do read it off but it was just thank the lord when I seen that you know I didn't have to spend all that money so yeah let me show you guys the rest of the products that I got so let me just start from foundation and then work my way on down. So with the foundation, um, this is the e.l.f. brand foundation and the foundation was more pricier. It was $3, but that was like the most expensive that you would find things over there. So this was $3 and I'm in the shade, um, I think this one was beige or something like that, but that's the color that I'm in. And the thing that kind of got me a little flustered but I mean I know that I'm not you know darker skin but they didn't have any really like darker skin tones for elf so I don't know if it was just they were out of them or they just didn't have them but the darkest shade they had was this one so I don't know maybe you guys have to go to a bigger company or write to them or something but they didn't really have too many. I kind of want to do like a review on each product after I go over them so I mean I already did a review kind of on the uh, acne wash that I use so I kind of gave you a review on that one already so with the foundation I felt like you know the more you put on the more it will give you coverage so I kind of didn't really like that about it because I just wanted something more so to where I can kind of preserve the product so I think that when it comes to foundation you might want to get use a better brand than just elf because it you have to use a lot and then if the fact that this is already kind of small already this is like 0 0.88 fluid ounces so it's already kind of small so the fact that it's already small you're gonna need a whole lot and this will be gone in no time so I guess that's why it's three dollars maybe so yeah but um moving on to the concealer so yeah it just kind of looks like this and it comes in this one and once again it's very smaller and with this one you have to kind of keep building it up too but I mean overall I kind of use it more so as a highlight I think it works okay so um I think it gets the job done and does what you need it to do so it's pretty good and um this concealer cost a dollar so that's a good thing it costs really cheap so um yeah um it's once again very small this color is in light beige and it's 0 0.08 ounces so it's still kind of small but you know it does what it needs to do the powder that i got came like this 
and this is also in the color light beige the powder cost a dollar and it also came with this little like pad thingy like this but I don't really use this I just use a um, big fluffy brush and um, I probably will be showing you guys how I did this makeup um, so I'll be doing a tutorial on how I did this uh, full face makeup in a, my next video so you guys can see it and probably do it because it's not too much but you know it's very light and I actually use all of the products on my face except for one of them the next product is some bronzer now this is my favorite product along with the mascara that all came with the elf product because I felt like this stuff the, did the best for me I just like the way it looked on me the most yeah that's the um the L I mean the bronzer and that's the way it looks and it comes with this little brush thing but once again I don't use this thing because I mean I tried and it's just too small to get done what you want it to get done and then at the bottom I'm kind of covering it up but it has like a little mirror here so yeah this actually worked the best it is shimmery though so if you don't really like shimmery bronzer then you don't have to really get this one but I mean I find that it just it just works really well like I felt like this was one of the best products along with the mascara out of like the whole face that I got and this was sunkissed bronzer the bronzer was two dollars the next thing that I got was some blush I think that the blush comes kind of cute the way it comes packaged in and everything this is the way it comes in looking this blush was in tickled pink and once again I think this one's kind of shimmery too but you know I think that it still looks cute for the quality that it's in I feel like it's in a really um nice packaging and everything came with this little protector thingy to put on top of it and then it came with a mirror at the top as well the blush actually is really nice too I felt like it gave like a nice little color to it as well. It's just, you know, it's shimmery, but you know, I don't I don't have too much of a problem with the shimmery, so it's not that bad. And the blush is three dollars. It's kind of crazy that the blush was more than the bronzer, but oh well, it's still pretty cheap. To the next product, I got some mascara from e.l.f. And the mascara was a dollar. The mascara looks like this when you take it out. So the mascara looks like that. Then it comes in this thing, this tube right here. So it's not really that much again. And this is in the color black. They don't really have how big it is. But um, it's not really that bad. I mean, I guess it's a nice size for like putting it in your purse or something. So... It's a nice little size for that and stuff, so, but you know, it's not too big or anything. But I actually like this brush compared to the brush that I used in my New Year's uh, video, the mascara that I used there. Because the brush, it's just a little bit more easier to put it on, so I guess that's nice too. And I like, this is the next product that I like the best because this and the bronzer was my favorite because this actually did kind of lengthen my, um, my lashes a little bit more, so... I kind of like this for that too. So the bronzer and the mascara was my favorite. The next thing I got was this Cole pencil um, eyeliner. And um, it kind of just looks like this. And the good thing about this one is it's actually like a sharpener in there. So you can sharpen it. I don't know if you guys could really see that. But it's like a sharpener as well as like the cap for your eyeliner. And I did try and use this eyeliner yesterday, and um, I just kind of didn't really like it because, um, I don't know, it, it's just I have to get used to um, kind of using it because it's just, it's a whole lot more bigger for me to like kind of line up my lash line and stuff, so I have to get used to the size and everything. What is this on the back? I didn't really take this off. Oh! okay I just learned something new here guys okay so like this is at the end of this as well now when I looked on the thing 
I'm sorry, I just noticed that in the bag. Okay, um, I don't have the instructions with me because they're all in the bag that I carried this stuff in for a while before I even did this haul. It's used for eyeliner and eyeshadow. So that's probably what this part is, is eyeshadow, or it's probably like a better eyeliner so it's not too hard or whatever for you or something. But I didn't know that that was there at first, so that kind of caught me off guard, but I like it. I'm going to have to do something with this and show you guys how to maybe use this or something figure out what it is first because I don't want to swatch it and then not know what it is but you know yeah I'm just gonna do some tutorials and stuff so you guys can see this though but this here was three dollars I guess that makes sense now the fact that this would be three dollars because it has like the little double head to it so yeah it's pretty cool okay the next thing that I have here is this it just says e.l.f. tools on the receipt, but this is a makeup mist and set. So pretty much what this is, is you, after you finish putting on all of your makeup, you spray this on your face and this is supposed to make your makeup set all day. This was $3. Um, at first I was not going to pick this up and this was not my intentions to pick this up. I actually wanted to pick up the um, brush cleaner because there was like a... A cleaner thingy for your brushes and stuff and I was like oh I can kind of use that so I picked that up but then I think I put it down and then I seen this and I was reading this and then I think I just grabbed this anyway and well I mean I didn't want to just go take it back because I was like well I don't have a face primer that I put on underneath all of this stuff so I guess I did need a set so yeah and when I first used this it kind of was like okay I don't know what to do but the way that you kind of do it is you just stand back and then you just spray it. And then when you spray it on your face, it's supposed to kind of like set everything. And now it would look like foundation's kind of coming off. But they say that you just let it dry naturally. And then it's supposed to just make it set. And then um, you could either choose to dry it off or something like pat it or something with a makeup brush or something. Or you could just you know just let it dry and I just kind of let it dry or whatever and um I guess it does let your makeup set because I tried this makeup on yesterday just to kind of give myself a feel for it and kind of you know do it before I kind of showed it and then tried to let you guys know what it did and yeah my makeup pretty much stayed in place all day yesterday so all right guys that's it that completes this haul I will be doing a tutorial on this in my next video but in the meantime thanks for watching guys bye